I have seen that uh, you, you grew up, uh, sit down my lord, <laughs> that you are a herdsman of cattle and, and goats. How <laughs> I envy you. And you say you're about, you're going to write your memoirs. Me, I have finished writing mine there. I'm going to publish them next month. And there you will learn. But for me, I didn't even have cut at all. So hey, you, you had cut on goats, me, I had a few goats. <laughs> But this is really to show to our people. It doesn't matter the humble beginnings where we came from. It is what we have been able to do with the gifts and talents God has given us that have brought us this far and now we have impacted the people that we have had the occasion to lead. And I want to thank you for launching this, uh, this, this foundation. Now, this foundation, from what I have heard, it will have very noble ideas, and I'm sure it will go a long way in alleviating the lives of the people that you want to touch. I hadn't even thought of the idea. It's something that has hit me, and I was thinking, and I said, okay, Ladit, let me tell you, when I grow up, I want to become like you. <laughs> Well, let us not waste too much time. Thank you for honoring me to ask me to yes, launch yes, this yes, foundation. Yes, yes. We worked together before. We shall continue to work yes, together. Yes, yes. And yes, uh, yes. I was telling Madam, I'm looking forward to coming to eat Malakwang here. Uh, I lived in this house for five years. I don't know how many appeals who had decided in that room up there. <laughs> but we will continue to be together as brothers, as friends. Um, you touched about the, your old lives, uh, you? secondary school and so on. And for people who are here, and others who may hear as children who are growing up, you know, the, the, the poet, Bridget Kipling, says, you are a man if you can dream, but not make dreams your master. We all had dreams. Now, let me tell you a story. In 1970, I was in senior six in Namidiango College. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, <laughs> and we hosted, we hosted a UN debate, UN General Assembly mock debate, with the students from Budo, from Gayaza, from Nabingo, from, I don't know, it was a big group. And uh, in that debate, I remember, I think I, I spoke for, as ambassador of Israel, with uh, my friend, the late Joseph Bosa. And Ambassador Olaro Tuno was one of the debaters. I don't know which country he was speaking for. <laughs> <laughs> he struck everybody as a very eloquent debater. Now, those little children, 1960, 1970, senior six, some of us found ourselves in the same class in law school, 1971, with Olaro Tuno, uh, the late Margaret Cherejo, Kate Gaia, and, and, and so on. And we have impacted this country in so many ways.